Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to our channel, the Trucking with Mr. Coach channel. I am on my second day of training day or orientation day over here at Stevens. Um, yesterday was a phenomenal day, a lot of knowledge. Uh, a lot of knowledge. Um, we're able to see different instructors. Um, was able to see Will. Buenos días, Jose. Buenos días. ¿Cómo está, hermano? Ah! <laughs> Aquí está Jose, tremenda persona. Muy simpática. Um, sorry about that, guys. Um, so, yeah. Um, second day. Yesterday was orientation till about, what, 4 o'clock, 4.30. And then after that, we went across the street. Across the street, you can see the trailers behind us to do to show our skills, you know, maneuvers, driving, and uh, we went on the road. Yes, it was raining, it was hard, and it was still 10 o'clock. But hey, uh, when I'm driving on my own, I'm gonna be we're gonna be driving in the rain, we're gonna be driving at night. So I was super thrilled that we were able to do that last night because uh, it kind of gives you a little um, a little taste of what what's it gonna be. Okay. Um, you know, I uh, was able to uh, meet, uh, or my, my Money Mike came in, and uh, it was a pleasure seeing him. And uh, also, uh, we, we met with uh, Will uh, Burt, uh, even better person in uh, in, uh, in in life, uh, or I should say, you know, it was better to meet him in person. Uh, great vibe. Uh, last night we went with uh, we went out on the road with some drivers that are actually trainers themselves or aspiring to become trainers and um it was cool to see because some of them are you know into their second year you know off their first year and to pick the brain and see where they're at and and what their plans are and uh and yes i met uh, i met the king <laughs> i met uh davis rogers uh king d Raj, uh uh somebody that i um uh, been looking up to and uh and we had a great time, uh, you know, we had a great conversation. And uh, uh, it, was, it was good to, for me to get some feedback from him. And um, and um, he made me feel like he's, you know, that he's on my corner. So I could reach out to him and, and, and uh, any questions I have. So I might, I'm going to make sure that I don't abuse that, but uh, I'm going to definitely use it. So, so again... Uh, um, second day of orientation today. I'm super thrilled. I'm hoping that um, it seems that we're going to be done Saturday. And then after that, I uh, got willing everything goes well. We'll be out on the road by Saturday or Sunday. Or, or not Monday, but it should be within within a week. I should be out on the road already. Um, uh, actually starting to work, you know. Um, what can I say? I mean, I, it, you know, we stayed at, at, at a hotel. It's the motel. Um, and by that, you know, by saying motel, you know what I mean. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm a, uh, I'm a travel boat coach, you know. How many times did we go out there with my players? And it's like I told them, I made it affordable for them to go to these tournaments because they're very expensive. So we didn't stay in a no five-star five hotel. We stay in, you know, decent hotels, sometimes in motels, you know, five to six people, seven people, eight people in one room, sleeping on the floor and all of that. So this is this is not new to me. I've, I've you know, I, I've, I've done this to make it affordable. I don't want to be comfortable. I don't need no five-star hotel here. I want to be uncomfortable so I get the hell out of here. Because I didn't come over here to be at the Holiday Inn or marry a courtyard. I didn't come for that. I came here to go to work. You know? <laughs> it would have been a waste of money anyway to go to an expensive hotel because <laughs> I was here since 6 o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock at night, you know, between orientation and, and, and driving. So it would have been a waste of money. A waste of money, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> um, so again, uh, and the reason why I'm talking about this is because I don't want you to come over here thinking that you're going to come in and you're going to be in a five-star hotel. That's not the case. 
you know, but, you know, I got the warrior's mentality, road warrior's mentality, which is, you know, I'm down for whatever, I'm ready, I'm ready for whatever, okay, uh, my work ethic, it's gonna take me somewhere like it's always done, so, again, I would just th- figure, give you a little update on what's going on, uh, so today is second day of orientation, uh, yesterday was a long day, but we made it work, you know, we, it was raining hard last night, but we were all out there, and I tell you, you know, people were kind of trying to make excuses, but these trainers were out there in the rain, and they didn't even put no panchos, no plastic over their head. They were getting wet, and they didn't care because they were there for us. So I figure if they're there for us, who am I to question? Who am I to question? These are experienced drivers, people that are giving their time. I'm not giving, they're getting paid, but you know what I mean. They're investing their time. They could have easily... Uh, quit on us or say, you know what, let's do in cap or let's do this and let's make it easy. But they didn't do that. They they actually went and uh, and were out there with us. You know, Jimbo, phenomenal person. I love his vibe. And uh, uh, again, um, I got nothing but uh, good stuff uh, to say so far, so far. Again, um, you know, I, I, I love, you know, uh, I'm a vibe person and I love the vibe that I'm getting from this place. So, you know, um, so yeah, that's uh, that's it. I will uh, I will keep you updating. I will keep updating you guys on what's going on. So, sky's the limit. Oh yeah.